Hi guys, welcome to chapter 5, section 1. In this section we're going to be talking about the geolocation feature of HTML5. So what is geolocation? The HTML5 geolocation API is used to get the geographical location or position of a user. And I'm sure many of you have gone to a website, uh, whether it's an e-commerce site or whatever, and had a pop-up in your browser asking if it can get your location and this is most likely an HTML5 website that's using the geolocation API. Now this can this could compromise user privacy so it's you they need to get approved the user needs to approve the website or the app to tr get and track the user's location. All of the latest versions of all our major browsers have support for geolocation. So what are some uses of geolocation? There, there's a lot of uses for geolocation, but I've listed some here, some really popular ones and some really useful ones. Uh, we have a transportation websites, and that would be public transportation, buses, trains, things like that. They can automatically detect where you are and, and give you those listings in the schedule for relative to where you are and same thing with taxis and other transportation websites um, it's used a lot for calculating shipping costs on shopping carts e-commerce websites uh, travel agencies obviously as well as real estate websites would obviously benefit from this um, you know looking up listings houses around your location uh, movie theater websites which I love and, and I use all the time um, to find out listings of movies in your area, of theaters in your area. Um, online gaming, local, uh, this is another obvious one, local headlines and weather. Obviously you want the headlines and the weather around where you are and this geolocation allows them to do that automatically without you having to search and input your city or state or, or so forth. Job postings and they can automatically include commute times and transportation times and this is just some of them I mean uh, there's endless possibilities and there's countless number of websites you could use this for very very useful so how does it work it works by scanning different sources of location um, GPS global positioning system is probably the most accurate method that it uses um, the, it can pinpoint locations better than the rest of them. Um, network signals, they can get I through IP addresses, through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections, um, GSM cell IDs, and then user input. So these are all ways that geolocation can actually get your position. Alright, so we want to check the browser to see if there's geolocation support. Um, like I said, all, all the latest versions of every browser at this time do support geolocation. But you should still add this in your code. Uh, it's just just in case, you know, some people still use older computers and older browsers. And the API offers a very handy function to detect for support. And it's as simple as this. It's as simple as checking the navigator object um, for geolocation the geolocation property and you can also use obviously you can use modernizer uh, as we've used in past sections it's it's almost just as simple as this function um, very easy so now we'll start looking at the code a little bit the geolocation code and API's and the get current position is the main API or method and it's used to if successful it will return a position object um, the latitude longitude and accuracy properties are always returned and down here we have the syntax uh, we have the get current position method and it takes three parameters the show location which is mandatory and then the error handler and the options are optional and I will discuss this more when we when we actually do some code Okay, so like I said in the last slide, the get current position method gets three parameters. And first is the required parameter of show location. 
Uh, this is a handler method that gets called if the position is obtained successfully. And this method, this method is specified by the success callback parameter, okay, which I'll display in the programming part of this section. And next is the error handler. Uh, the error handler method, which invokes if there's any kind of error or if the positioning fails. Um, and then finally we have the options parameter, which will define a set of options that we can use that I'll, I can show you when we start the programming. And these are the get current positions possible return values. Uh, we have the latitude and longitude as a decimal number, the accuracy of the position, the altitude, uh, the heading, the speed, and the date and time of the response. Response. So once we successfully obtain the position of the user, we want to present it to them. And we can do that in two ways. There's the geodetic and there's the civic representation. And you'll see down here, each attribute has both a geodetic and a civic representation and the civic is much more human readable as you can see um, when using the geolocation API you get the geodetic data back from the functions and you can present the location data in raw numbers but that's that's not very useful and not very user-friendly but you can use online services like Bing Maps and Yahoo GeoPlanet and they can help you translate between the two presentation modes. So uh, a little complicated, a little geeky, but um, I can display more of this when we get into the programming. So that's it for the geolocation slideshow. Now we can dive in and we can start coding.